Homefront 2, Mortal Kombat, The Forest, Xbox apps, and sales figures from some of the new games. This now on the Curse Weekly Roundup. Hey everyone, it's Andrew here filling in for Jess this week who's currently selling camel lotion at the local farmer's market. If you missed it from earlier this week, Homefront 2 was revealed with an announcement trailer. The game is in development at Crytek and will launch sometime in 2015. The trailer looks pretty good too, here's a peek. More announced games this week include Mortal Kombat 10. In its launch trailer, it pointed out that this will be a 2015 release. Apart from the trailer just being hype and was only a cinematic, the community seemed a little bit bored from it. Personally, all I think you need to do for a Mortal Kombat trailer is this. Mortal Kombat! But what do you think? Whose trailer was better? Let me know in the comments below. One of the hottest games on Steam right now is The Forest, a new open world survival game. The game begins with a plane crash and then it would appear that a local tribe of people is taking the child that was sitting next to you on the plane. After that, it's up to you on how you want to survive. If you have the game already and are as confused as I was, don't worry, we have the official wiki for The Forest and we'll link you up in the description. 46 new apps are coming to the Xbox One and Xbox 360. Some of the highly anticipated apps include HBO Go, MLG, Comedy Central, and many more. A full list of the apps that will be making their way to the console can be seen here and we'll link you up in the description. First week sales figures for Mario Kart 8 are in at over 1.2 million sales. Nintendo reported that this has been a significant boost in sales for the Wii U, which is great news for Nintendo who has been struggling to find a footing in the newest generation. Sales figures for the first week of Watch Dogs also surfaced at over 4 million copies, making it Ubisoft's fastest selling game of all time. Maybe perhaps the news of multiple game delays over the past few weeks has actually freed up people to decide to pick up Watch Dogs to play in the meantime. That's going to be it for the update. Next week, we're going to be at E3 getting the scoop on the latest gaming news. So look forward to videos posted to the Curse channel to see what we'll be covering. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Curse channel if you're new. And until next time, enjoy the game.